Hi everyone, welcome back to the story time family. How's everyone doing today? How's the weather where you are? It's nice and sunny here today, and I'm super happy the sun's out. I can get my laundry done. My kids can play outside. How about you? I hope you got your dose of sunshine today. And thanks for taking the time to sit down and read with us. Today we have a book called Swarm of Bees by Lemony Snicket and Rilla Alexander. Let's get started, shall we? Swarm of Bees. Swarm of bees, swarm of bees. Oh no, you are so angry. What would you do? Swarm of bees, swarm of bees. Will you sting the sailor? No, he's been on a ship for nine months and he's hurrying to hug his mother. Swarm of bees, swarm of bees. Will you sting the mother? No, she's about to tell the bricklayer all about her new hairdo. Swarm of bees, swarm of bees. Will you sting the bricklayer? No, he's starting a new part of the wall. He's feeling very busy and very hungry. Swarm of bees, you are still feeling angry, but you can't sting anyone at the food truck. The chefs are chopping onions as quick as they can, and the customers are deciding what to drink with their lunches. You can't sting the cat. The cat is trying very carefully to hide in the grass. And cat, you can't pounce on a bird. It has a worm in its mouth. Swarm of bees, swarm of bees. You can't sting the man in the second floor apartment watching television. His window is shut anyway because his neighbors are making so much noise. And you can't sting the neighbors. They're playing card games on the balcony and the little cousin is about to win. You are still angry, but you can't sting the little cousin. She already hurt herself today when she stubbed her toe, and that's why she's wearing that bandage. Swarm of bees, are you going to sting the boy? He keeps throwing tomatoes. He threw one at the little cousin and stained her bandage. He threw one at the neighbor's window and made a mess. He threw two tomatoes at the cat and three tomatoes at the bird who dropped the worm into a tomato on the ground. The boy threw a bunch of tomatoes at the food truck. He shouldn't do that. The boy threw tomatoes at the bricklayer and he threw tomatoes at the mother's hairdo. And look, swarm of bees. He threw a tomato at the sailor, and the sailor is chasing him. Where did they go, swarm of bees? Where is everybody? In the backyard? Watch out for the laundry. In the alley? Watch out for the tow truck. Around the corner? Watch out for the beekeeper. Beekeeper? Swarm of bees. Well, now you're in the sack. It's warm and cozy in there. You calm down, and soon you'll be going home. It can't feel good to be angry. It can't feel better to stop. And now, it's time to clean up all the tomatoes. And 
that was Swarm of Bees. It was pretty cute, right? I hope you enjoyed the story. If you like to own a copy of your own, the links to purchase it are in our description below. Give us a like if you enjoyed this book and leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. And if you haven't, do subscribe for more stories like this. Thank you so much for reading with us. Uh, we'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Today we have a book called Nurse Bear Does First Aid by Martha Almansa Esteva. Let's have a look. Nurse Bear Does First Aid. Hi, my name is Bear and I am a nurse. I look after children and grown-ups when they are unwell. I work in a hospital. Nurses also work in schools, ambulances, and even helicopters. Nurses like me don't work alone. And this is Dr. Doctor, Tiger the radiographer, Monkey the dietitian, Bunny the physiotherapist. Each of us is a part of a big team. We're all here to look after you. Remember, if you see someone who is really sick, you can call us by dialing. Do you remember the number? I have an emergency. I need an ambulance. I'm at. Nurses have many special tools to help people feel better. We have things like plasters, gauze, drops, syrups, tablets, creams and medicines, scissors, bandages, syringes, tape, and lots of love. Wait, someone needs my help? I will get my bag. I'm ready to do some checks. The pulse oximeter has a magic red light. It tells me how well Cat the Singer is breathing. How strong is her heart? The blood pressure monitor shows me. My duct thermometer tells me if she's too hot or too cold. The stethoscope lets me hear all the noises in her body. When I know whether Cat has a headache, or an upset tummy, I know what to do. You can help your friends when they're feeling sick too. Let's wash our hands to keep all the germs away. Water and soap are enough. Just remember these steps. Water, soap, rub, 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 rinse, and dry. Pick the painter has a small cut. You can help. First, Wash your hands, then press hard on the cut. Clean it with water, pat to dry with a clean towel. Put on a plaster and tell a grown-up. Elephant the chef has a burn. Her skin is red and sore. You can help. Hold the burn under cold running water for 10 minutes. Shout for help, then cover it with cling film or a clean plastic bag. The dog the builder bang his head. He's crying and he has a bump. You can help. Help him stay calm. Tell a grown-up. Hold something cold where he hit his head. Turtle the runner has asthma. When he has an asthma attack, it's hard for him to breathe and he makes wheezing noises. You can help. Help him sit down. Tell him not to worry. Get his inhaler and help him use it. Tell a grown-up. Inhaler, spacer. Some animals, boys and girls, have allergies. Allergies can make us feel unwell, so we always try to avoid the things we're allergic to. Mouse, the detective, is allergic to nuts and cats. If you have allergies, tell your friends. Tell them I'm allergic to... It was nice meeting you and showing you what nurses do. Remember, you can help a lot too. If you need us, call for an ambulance. We're always here to help you.
Nurses are angels, aren't they? They do all the work, and we should give them lots of love for taking care of us. If you like your own copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Thank you so much for reading with us today. If you enjoyed this story and would like to hear more, do subscribe and give us a like, leave us a comment, and click on the bell for more videos like this. We'll see you back here again soon. You take care. Bye-bye.